Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I'm an injury and accident lawyer. Today I'd like to talk about the burden of proof in civil cases. Burden of proof is what you as the claimant or plaintiff in a civil case, which a personal injury case is, what you have to show and what your evidence has to prove to a jury in order for you to receive compensation. Now the hard part of that is that when you're dealing with juries, Juries mostly get their information from the television. And when they watch television, they watch criminal cases all the time. And the criminal standard is much higher than the civil standard. Because in the criminal context, you're taking away somebody's life or somebody's liberty. So that standard is very high and that is called the beyond the reasonable doubt standard. And what that means is that if a jury has any doubt or if the state or federal government has not proved their case beyond a reasonable doubt, then the person should go free. And we've seen that in the O.J. Simpson trial and we recently saw that in the Casey Anthony trial. But when jurors come into civil cases, they come in with this mindset. But a civil case only has to do with compensation and money, and the standard is much lower. The standard is what we call a preponderance of the evidence standard. Some jury instructions use greater weight of the evidence. Other people call it more likely than not. So one of the hurdles that we have to overcome when we're per pursuing the case in front of a jury is teaching the jury this standard, this more likely than not. Some people use the scales of justice and tip it. Other people explain, well, if there's just one feather more on the side of your evidence that the jury should vote with you. Some people use, you know, 51% or versus 49% or 50.5%. A lot of people are, try to articulate it in a number of ways. But this is a hurdle because people in their minds and speaking with jurors sometimes after cases, they were saying, well, you didn't convince me enough. You see, the burden of proof in a civil case is preponderance of the evidence. All we have to show when we're pursuing a case on behalf of the client is that the injury, for instance, more likely than not caused the need for the surgery or the person was unable to work more likely than not because of the injuries that the person received in the accident. Sometimes it's hard for jurors to put themselves in that mode because they've been indoctrinated by what they see on TV, what they see in TV shows, and what they read in the newspaper or on the internet. If you have any questions regarding the burden of proof in a civil case, you can always call our office, shoot us an email, or visit our website and blog. We wish you well and have a great day.